100 Everglades National Park, our 27th National Park. Let's go! Yay. It was established in 1947 to preserve the unique natural landscape. The Everglades ecosystem is a combination of plants and animals found nowhere else in the world. The swampland of the Everglades is created by slow moving water making its way from Lake Okeechobee through lowlands south to the ocean. Much of the surrounding area was drained for farmland, which is another reason the park was created to preserve the area. We're starting the day with the Anhinga and Gumbo Limbo Trails, both of which are about a half mile paved loop from the Royal Palm area. The park has a few different areas you can enter, none of which are connected by road. The most popular is the Shark Valley area due to its proximity to Miami. Today we're entering from Homestead and driving down to the Flamingo Visitor Center on the south side of the park with some stops along the way. And Hinga Trail was really cool because it took you through a boardwalk through like the swamps. So you got to see all the water and the birds and the gators. But this one, the Gumbo Limbo one, takes you through the woods and so you get to walk through. It feels like a jungle in here. And it's really cool to be able to do those like right next to each other and like see how different it is. Our next stop in the park is the Mahogany Hammock, which is a 0.3 mile boardwalk through an old growth mahogany stand on an island in the Sawgrass River. Our last stop before we get to the Flamingo Visitor Center is West Lake, which is another 0.4 mile boardwalk loop that leads through some mangroves out to the shores of West Lake. We made it to the Flamingo area, but the visitor center seems to be closed. Even with that being the case, there are some trails in the area we're gonna check out. The first of which is the Eco Pond Trail, which as you can see behind us is kind of like a grassy mode area. It's a little bit wider than an actual trail. It's right off the main road and it kind of goes around a little pond. There isn't a sign to show how long it is, but it looks like it's half mile to a mile loop. Not, not too long at all. The last trail we have planned for our time in the Everglades is the Guy Bradley Trail, which is 0.6 miles each way along Flamingo Beach. We were planning to do the Bayshore Loop Trail that kind of starts by the campground in the area, 
but we were told when we got here that that's closed. They're doing some restoration work and it's not actually a trail anymore. So if you see that on your maps, at least as of 2023 20, January, uh, that trail is no longer open. After leaving the park, we stopped at the Gator Grill for lunch. We got Gator Tacos and Gator Bites, both of which were delicious. That's gonna do it for our time at Everglades National Park today. It was a pretty quick day, but as I'm sure you can tell based on all the trails we did in this video, there are more little like short loop trails off the main road than there are longer trails in the park. We could have paid to done something like kayaking, canoeing, or taking an airboat tour, but after paying additional money to get out to Dry Tortugas and to see Biscayne yesterday, we wanted to do as much as we could without spending that additional mm -hmm. money. Our favorite trails today were the Ahinga and the Gumbo Limbo Trail because mm -hmm. like, we got to see both sides of like all the stuff, the forest and the animals in the swamp. It was great. That's easily where we saw the most wildlife during our time here, both the birds, the gators, and you could even see fish the water was yeah. so clear. 